the CBS Sports Spectacular, the Big Ten Swimming and Diving Championship, and the Women's World Softball Championship. Later on today's program, we'll go to Melbourne, Australia, for the Women's World Softball Championship. Hello, America. This is John Darcy speaking to you from Melbourne, Australia. And Melbourne, Australia has been the venue of some fine sporting activities. We've had the 1956 Olympic Games here. We've had tennis matches, the wonderful Davis Cup matches, and also the Federation Cup matches for women. This is the Women's Federation Cup was the Women's Davis Cup. Now, today, we're here at the Albert Park Soccer Stadium to witness the World Softball Championship. The Women's World Softball Championship has been played over the last week with countries from all over the world competing for the title of world champion. The score has been that New Zealand came fourth, Japan third, and in a moment we will see who will be world champion between the United States of America and Australia. The girls are very keen and, okay, and now the final will be between the United States of America and Australia. Today it is beautiful weather here, a bit humid, it's about 80 degrees, but the crowd are going to enjoy, I think, one of the finest exhibitions of softball the world has seen and certainly Australia has seen. The teams are in top condition, the Americans are very colourful in their red uniforms, looking very fit indeed, and the Australians in the green and gold, the typical Australian uniform. Yes, friends, we're going to see one of the finest matches of softball fought here in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it at home. Stand by, because in a few moments we'll see the start, the play ball between the United States of America and Australia. Well, that's play ball in the World Women's Softball Championships and Australia in the field. First batter up is Pat Harrison, the nippy little left field from Stratford, Connecticut, and she'll take the first pitch from Lorraine Woolley in the World Women's Softball Championship for 1965. Little adjustment there to the hair. It's quite gusty out there today. And here is the first pitch in the 1965 World Softball Championships. There's the pitch and she grounds out. First pitch and she grounds out to Woolley. To me on first base and there's the first blood to Australia. One up and one away. Next batter up is Mickey Stratton, first base for the United States. Mickey Stratton is the next batter, and there's one away. There's the pitch, and it's ball one. Notice that Mickey is very heavily strapped around the thighs there. That's because she's had a few injuries, pulled muscles. The grounds are very hard here in Australia. And there is strike one. There's the pitch and it's a fly to left field. And Margaret Swan of the Australian left field gets under it and takes a very nice catch up there, retiring Mickey Stratton. That's two up and two away in the top half of the first inning. Next batter up for the United States of America is Keller Lorenzo. Very windy and of course the girls must look their best. Keller Lorenzo, third back up. And there are two down. The right one calls umpire Bob McClay of the United States of America, who is the man behind the plate today. Umpire Bob McClay calls strike one. There's the pitch. It's a ground ball to the uh, pitcher there, Lorraine Woolley, who throws it to first and makes the out. That's side away for the United States. At the end of the first half innings of play, no runs, no hits, United States, no score, Australia yet to bat. Starting off for the United States is Donna Lopiano to Laura Mellish. First batter up for Australia, Nancy Whitingham.
It's Donna Lo Piano to pitch to Laura Mellish, Mickey Stratton at first, Mary Bennett at second, Carol Rosa at third, Bev Denneher shortstop, Pat Harrison at left field, Anna DeLuca at center field, and the mighty Sis King out there at right field. Perfect conditions here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, for this big clash, United States versus Australia. Perfect conditions for uh, softball. And our first batter up for Australia is Nancy Wettingham. There's the pitch, and it's ball one. Here's Donald Piano, plenty of encouragement from a side. And a pitch. That is ball two. Mickey Stratton just giving her some words of advice. She's only 19 years old, and this is a big occasion for her. Here comes the pitch. And there she's found the plate. Strike one. Strike one. The count is strike one, ball two. Lost the plate again. Ball three. The count, three balls, one strike. Down the middle she goes, strike two. The full count now, two strikes, three balls. This game will be played to seven innings, a decider of seven innings, and here's the pitch, and it's a grounder. It's a grounder fielded very well indeed by Mickey Stratton, picks up and makes an unassist put out. That's one up and one away in the top half of the Australian first innings. Next better up is Australia's second base woman, Norma Smith. There's a pitch, it's fouled up, and a strike is called. One and one, the call. There's ball two. And there's a long fly to right field. Sis King's under it, makes the out. And that makes Australia two out in the top half of the first inning. Two out, and the Americans are now playing at a very tight game. And we find Eleanor McKenzie, the first base for Australia, up to bat. The ground ball to Donald Piano picks up and it's an easy out at first base, picked up by Mickey Stratton, and that's three away, side away, and at the end of the first inning, the score remains United States nil, Australia nil. Well, back at the game, this is the, the second innings for both teams, remains the same as the first. Nothing to nothing. Well, now we move to the third with the United States at bat, and we find that the, the the young lady, Laura Mellish, from Milford, Connecticut, is up to bat, the catcher, and Laura Mellish will take the first pitch in the top of the third. There's the pitch, and it's a nice hit to left field. That's safe, and she's safe on first. That's the first hit of the game for the United States. 
And Laura Mellish is safe on first with Andrew Luca, the centre field for the United States up to bat. Nice hit there by Laura Millish. With Andrew Luca to bat, there's none out. And the runner on first base. This situation calls for a bunt. We'll see if she does it. There it is, the bunt's down. It's a sacrifice hit. Advancing Laura Millish to second, and yes, Woolley picks up the ball to Mackenzie and retires and Luca. Laura Millish is now on second base in the scoring position. One out in the top half of the third innings for the United States. Ev Dinaher now, the shortstop, is up to bat with one down. United States in the scoring position with Laura Millish on second. There's the pitch, and she takes a ball. Bev Dinaher takes that ball. The call is one ball on Bev Dinaher. <laughs> Bev Dinaher strikes on, and she grounds out there to Phillips, who picks up and whizzes across to McKenzie at first base, and Millis holds the uh, base at second. There was a good bluff throw there by Phillips, the little third base woman there, holding the... Uh, runner Laura Mellish on second and retiring Bev De Herneher on first. Pat Harrison now is up to bat. There are two down in the top half of the third innings for the United States. Pat Harrison from Stratford, Connecticut. There's the pitch, and one strike is called by umpire Bob McClay. One strike on Pat Harrison. Two down. There's a single. It just gets past the second base woman, and Mellish moves to third. Harrison goes to second on Somerville's throw home. Two down in the top half of the third for the United States. Mickey Stratton at bat now. With a runner in the scoring position on third, Laura Millish. Two out with Mickey Stratton at bat and a runner in the scoring position. The rain will steadies. And here's the pitch. Strike one, goes the umpire. Strike one on Mickey Stratton. The runners on second and third in scoring positions. And there are two out. There's a high fly to left field. Yes, she's got under it, and that retires the United States. And ends that threat there at the end of the second and one-half innings of play. The scores remain. Nothing, United States. Australia, nothing. More action from Melbourne, Australia, coming up right now. Well, back at the game, at the end of five and one-half innings now, it's still a scoreless game. United States had five base hits, the Australians two, as the home team comes to bat in the sixth innings with the first basewoman, Eleanor McKenzie, at the plate. There we see a fine study of Donna Lapiano. She's warming up there with Laura Mellish. Very tight game, very tight, wonderfully played, both sides not giving an inch. And this is the sixth innings with Eleanor McKenzie of Australia, the first basewoman from Australia, coming up to bat now. As you notice, friends, we play on grass here in Australia, whereas the United States, they're more used to the skin in fields. And here's Donna Lopiano to take the first pitch in the sixth innings. And she swings on, and it's a foul ball. Foul ball. Strike one against Eleanor McKenzie. Seems to be a little bit of dirt there, and Laura Mellish's eye. The wind's blowing quite gustily here in Melbourne. 
temperature very humid. Eleanor McKenzie with one strike against her in the sixth innings. There's the pitch and she swings it on. It's a big hit out to center left field. And the throw relayed back here. Will she make it? Yes, she slides in hands first. And the umpire calls safe. The umpire calls safe and Mary Bennett is second base. Uh, doesn't seem to uh, quite agree, but who does agree with the umpire? And she slides in to be safe at second base. None out. And in a scoring position for Australia with Sandra Somerville, the center field for Australia, up to bat. Seems that there is a little knock on the head there, being given assistance. Assistance here by uh, first aid. Maybe the wind knocked out of her. Bit hard sliding in there to second base head first, and uh, Mary Bennett is quite solid. So we find Eleanor McKenzie safe at second on that very nice hit to left center field. Sandra Somerville for Australia. Here's the next batter up. With Australia in scoring position. Here's the pitch. And it's strike one. Strike one on Sandra Somerville. Top half of the sixth innings for Australia. Nil all the score. No score US, no score Australia. There's the pitch, and it's a long hit out to Sis King, who gets under it, relays it back, and holds Eleanor McKenzie on second base. One down, with Gladys Phillips, the Australian captain, up to bat. There's the pitch, and she takes the first pitch as strike one. Taking the first pitch as strike one. One out in the sixth inning. Donna Lopiano now pitches. Swings on, it's a foul ball. And that is strike two against Gladys Phillips of Australia. Strike two on Gladys Phillips of Australia in the sixth inning. One down. There's the pitch, and it's a wild one. It's over the catcher's head. It goes through to the back of the net. And here we find Eleanor McKenzie down in third. She's coming to the second side, and she stands back to home plate. Home plate with a wild throw. That brings in, that lets in Australia's first run. And the Australian team are very happy about this. It lets in Australia's run in the sixth inning. And that came from a wild pitch from Donald Piano. The ball went through to the back plate, and, the, and that means that all runs must be run out. It goes through to behind the net. And the girl came home from second, Sandra Somerville came home from second, sliding across the plate to make it one run to nil in Australia's favour in the sixth inning. This is very grim for the United States. The Australian girls very happy about that. The crowd sensing that this could be victory for Australia. And it's electrifying here at the Albert Park Soccer Stadium where we have Margaret Swan, the left field for Australia, up to bat. That's foul ball. She tipped onto that. Foul ball. One strike on Margaret Swan with one out. Seems that uh, they had to change the ball there. They took the wrong ball with that foul tip. Now Donald Piano is ready to pitch to Margaret Swan. up and yes she's paid Margaret Swan is paid up by Mickey Stratton and retiring the Australian side at the end of the sixth inning the score is Australia 1, the United States 0.
This is the top half of the seventh. The United States are in serious trouble. If they don't get the equalizer in the zig, bang goes the ball game. And the crowd sensing this are going wild. Laura Mellish is the lead-off batter. Here's Lorraine Woolley, the Australian pitcher. And there's the hit. It's a solid hit, and it's beautifully caught by the center field, Somerville, and retiring Laura Millish, one up and one away. If America don't score in two more, two more digs, in these two more batters to go, well, I'm afraid it's curtains for the United States. Anna DeLuca now is at bat. And you can see the strain on Anna's face that uh, she knows the position that the United States are in at this moment. There is a great hit there out to left field. And a beautiful catch by Swan in left field. Taking it inches from the ground, Swan scoops that up. And she retires Anna DeLuca, two up and two away. There you see her encouraging the side now, sensing victory for Australia, two up and two away. At bat now is Millie Dubord, a great player for the United States team in the last time the Australians met. She was the one that brought in the winning run. She's pinch hitting now in Millie Dubord, pinch hitting for Bev, De Bev Denneher. Last batter up. There's the pitch, and it's right one. Strike one on Millie Dubord. Now coming up to bat, relaxing in there. You know exactly how important this is. There's a pitch, and it's a line drive to third base. Phillips picks up a long throw. McKenzie tags the runner, and there it is. There's the ball game. That ends the game. Final scores: Australia one, United States nothing. And the Australian team are becoming wild with enthusiasm. Their wonderful sportsmanship, wonderful sportsmanship by Millie Dubois, has been shown by the American girls. And there we've been seeing the Australians are the champions, the world champions, brought to you by the International Softball Federation, this wonderful series of games. And this is John Darcy saying goodbye from Melbourne, Australia.